Jesus warned that in the last days there would arise someone called a false Christ, someone who would impersonate the Savior and claim to be the Savior of the world. In the Bible, in the book of Matthew, it is written, Jesus answered and said to them, Beware lest anyone deceive you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and I will comfort many. 24.45 According to the New Testament, the Greek word Christ is Christos, which has the same meaning as the Hebrew word Mashiach in the Old Testament and is converted to Messiah in English. The above words have the same meaning in both Hebrew and Greek as anointed one. That was the name of Jesus during the period of his ministry in Palestine, for example. The woman answered, I know that the Messiah, meaning Christ, must come. When he comes, he will declare all things to us. Jesus said, I who am speaking to you am he. John 4, 25 to 26. Not long before Jesus was crucified, he preached a prophecy concerning events that would occur during the time of the end before his return. Jesus warned, at that time, if anyone says to you, here is Christ, or there, do not believe it. For many false Christs and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders, and if possible, they will come and deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Therefore, if they say to you, Behold, he is in the wilderness, do not go there. Behold, he is in the house, do not believe. Matthew 24, 23, 26. Jesus emphasized that the false Christ would perform many great signs and miracles to deceive people. Many believers believe that as long as they believe in Jesus Christ, they will not fall for the deception of these last days. However, this deception spread quickly because there were two Christs, not just one. Some will be deceived into believing this impostor. But I fear that, as Evie was tempted by the serpent's cunning, your thoughts may also be corrupted and your hearts be changed from the sincerity and purity of your heart toward Christ. If someone comes to you, and preaches a different Jesus than the Jesus we preached. Or if you receive a different spirit from the spirit you received, or a different gospel from the one you received, then I'm sure you can bear it. I Corinthians 11, 3, 4. The above Bible passage is the advice of the Apostle Paul to the believers in the early church. He warned them to beware of false apostles who preached a Jesus who was not the Jesus mentioned in the Bible, but a fake Jesus, a Jesus made up from the false imagination and thinking of the false apostles. The gospel that these false apostles preached was a completely different gospel from the gospel mentioned in the Bible and preached by the true apostles. In addition, this false gospel is also preached with the help of evil spirits, but not the Holy Spirit of the Trinity. Who believes in and serves this fake Jesus? We can find the answer in 2 Corinthians 11, 13, 15. For such men are false apostles, deceitful workers, masquerading as apostles of Christ. No wonder Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. Then his servants who disguise themselves as servants of righteousness will gain nothing, but the end will be according to their deeds. Impersonating Jesus is Satan's plan. In addition, this fake Jesus can also pretend to be an angel of light. Before the day Jesus returns, a false Christ will appear on earth that people can see with the naked eye. In the Bible, in the book of the Second Thessalonians 2.3, it is written, No matter what method someone uses, don't let them deceive you. For the apostasy must come first, and there will appear the man of lawlessness, the son of perdition, an adversary who exalts himself above all that is called God or worshipped, very, and sat in the temple of God, calling himself God. In this mysterious prophecy about the events of the last days, there will be apostasy and many will abandon their faith. Along with the apostasy, there will also appear the man of lawlessness, also known as the son of iniquity, who is also the opponent of Christ or substitute for Christ. The false Christ will sit in the temple of God and call himself God. What is the end of this false Christ? How can we recognize who is a fake? Tzander, Thessalonians 2.8.10 tells us, And then that man of lawlessness will appear, 
and the Lord Jesus will destroy him with the breath of his mouth and will put an end to him. It by the brightness of his coming, that person will appear under the power of Satan and perform all kinds of miracles, strange signs and false wonders, using every unrighteous deceit to deceive those who are lost, because they have not received the love of the truth that they may be saved. Those who follow the false Messiah are deceived because they do not love God's truth given to people through the Bible. Jesus emphasized that not everyone who calls on the name of God will enter heaven, but must obey the Father's will. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father, who is in heaven, Matthew 7, 21. Jesus also said in John 6, 40, this is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him will have eternal life. As for me, I will raise him up at the last day. Therefore, to enter the kingdom of heaven, we must look up to God, meditate on the real Jesus, learn about his life, and completely trust in his words. Jesus also affirmed, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life and will not come into judgment, but has passed beyond death to life. John 5, 24. Unfortunately, these fake Christians believe with all their hearts that they are true believers and are serving Christ. They even prophesied in the name of Christ, cast out demons in the name of Christ, and do miracles in his name. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? In the name of the Lord cast out demons and do many miracles in your name. Then I will speak clearly to them. Depart from me, you who work iniquity. Matthew 7, 23 False followers of Christ will do many things that are contrary to the law. They broke God's commandments, disregarding Jesus' commands. On the contrary, Jesus declared, Whoever has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and will make myself known to him. John 14, 21 Ladies and gentlemen, it's so sad for us who believe in God. But on the last day, God says, I never knew you. Get away from me. The way to overcome all deception is to hear and obey the word of God. Here is how we know that we have known him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar. The truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is perfect in him. Therefore, we know we are in him. Whoever says he abides in him must do as he did. For 1 John 2, 3 6. This is the patience of the saints. They keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Revelation 14, 12. It is better to obey God than to obey men. Acts 5, 29. In the last day, humanity will have to choose between the real Jesus and the fake Jesus, between the true God and the fake, between the true and false days of worship, between the commandments of God and those of men. What will you choose?